And welcome back everybody to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we are trying to help Ilya regain her memory back. Uh, we kind of started the process of retrieving a wooden statue that kind of helped trigger something about how she was when she was found. Uh, she remembered of a hidden village that was that she was taken to uh, when she lost her memory and she kind of lost track of where uh, what she was trying to remember. The, the hidden village is actually, if we look on our map here, it is up north of the Bridge of Elden right here. Right here. I think we passed this before and it was a landslide that has blocked it. But now we got the patriarch, the the Goron patriarch, to kind of go and get rid of that uh, pesky landslide. So we're actually gonna go ahead and warp up to the Bridge of Elden, and we're gonna go up to the Hidden Village. Now that we've got the Bridge Velden fixed and everything, we can actually cross it. Uh, in my first playthrough, I didn't know where the Bridge of Elden piece was, so I had to go the long way around <laughs> trying to get everything to go go this way, because it's harder to do everything whenever the Bridge of Elden is still broke. Luckily, you, you could get it now and everything be hunky-dory. <laughs> So we're just going to keep on going. I'm, you know, it's faster to go just run. Oh, gosh. I wasn't expecting that to hit me. But, um, yeah, it's just it's faster to run as Wolf Link. <laughs> it is strange enough. Let's go ahead and kill all these Bulblins. Bulblins. I think I keep, get, keep getting these guys' names mixed up. I think these are called Bulblins. Not Bulblins. Bulblin is King Bulblin. Alright, so let's transform into human. Yeah, it's right here in this cave entranceway. You guys probably remember in this cave entranceway it was blocked by a landslide. Well, it's not blocked by a landslide anymore. So let's go on further on inside the cave here. Inside is Darbus. Just breaking the rocks. <laughs> and he makes an entryway. There's a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it the forgotten in a forgotten place. The s this scent has been burning my nostrils. It is the scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about, but under the beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are thirty. No, at most, 20 of them. They are probably a small band of survivors, ragged remnants of those who have settled leaderless into the village. If that is all there is, little human, then you alone are more than enough to do for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save the girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you a secret of besting them. Destroy them before they spot you. Got it, little human? I see how it is. You're not going to help me out at all. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I can take care of myself, but, you know, I, it's better to go in as a group to kind of help out the situation. I, I love how he just bannons me. But we are here at the Hidden Village. Like he said before, there are, like, 20 enemies in here. And I equipped the Hawkeye. And then, uh, before we do that, this is my favorite... Favorite, like, segment of the game. I love this segment so much. It's like an old western. Got all these bulbins here. In the village. And your goal is to get to that door. So you got 20 bulbins to destroy. I have equipped the Hawkeye on my bow. In order to get rid of all these, uh... Bulbins here that are in the village here. And if we come up here and kind of look around, sneak around, and kind of zoom in a little bit, we can see most of them. We can kind of snipe them out of the way 
and not have to worry about them later. I love how he killed one of his buddies and just the buddy right next to him not even worried about it. Um, you guys probably saw it, but you can actually blow up these TNT crates here. And that kills a bunch of them out of the way, too. <laughs> so, we're just gonna be here sniping. I wonder if I can get this guy's headshot right here. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. And there's... I'm gonna shoot him right in the belly. Oh. No, it's not gonna go. I think it hit the hitbox of that. Yeah, it's hitting the hitbox there. Well, I bet you if I shoot this TNT here, I'll get rid of all those guys there. Oh, no. How about this one? No. No, it's still hitting that sighting there. I think I have like 34 uh, arrows left. 29 or... I could barely read that on my screen. <laughs> but we're going to kind of snipe out a bunch of these bulbins here kind of get rid of them here they have arrows too and they will shoot you relentlessly if they catch you so try to get as many of them as you can out of the way shoot that TNT crate and blow him up <laughs> I've only got 10 left here now if we jump down here inside the house there's there's a bulb in here Shoot him right there. Alright, uh, let's get out of that. And then if we look around the corner, I think there's another one right there. We'll just go ahead and just snipe him out of the way there. <laughs> I love this segment, though, because I, I like the music that plays during this segment. It reminds me of old westerns. I'm a big fan of western movies. I watched a lot of westerns when I was growing up. And this segment just reminded me a lot of what I liked about westerns. Okay, this little jump across the building here is a little hard. You kind of have to jump, uh, kind of push forward A to roll, and then kind of jump that way. Okay, I see another one shooting me. Yeah, he's all the way out there. I'll shoot him real quick. There we go. Got rid of him. And then I know there's one in the house here. I know there's a couple in the house here. Oh. One shooting me on the side there. Ow. Ow. Ha! Headshot. Kill Tacular. Get some of my arrows back a little bit. There we go. A single arrow left. <laughs> now, I know when there's one in the crevice here. Yeah. Oh, did I hit that guy? I hit that guy. How did I do that? This is gonna be hard. Uh, it's hard to shoot these this things here. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy down here. There we go. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and get out of there. I'm gonna peek around the corner. Can I get him from there? No. There's only three left. There we go. Got him. Alright. Yeah, there's like three left in in the village. Two left in the village, I'm sorry. Uh, must be in this house right here. Yeah. There's one right there. I'll back up a little bit. Yeah. Back up a little bit. And then shoot him right in the face. Shoot him in the face. It kind of reminds me of an old mission from Borderlands 2 where this crazy guy will just ask you to shoot him in the face. <laughs> I love I don't know why. I just It reminded me of that and I loved that mission. It was so funny. I know it's like really morbid to, ask, to do a mission where you shoot a guy in the face. But it's like, the guy was crazy. <laughs> okay, there's one more... Uh, bulbul in here somewhere. I think he might be in this house up here. Let's go ahead and go hit this way here. Okay, we're 
to jump across this house again. Oh, dang it. See, that's what I'm talking about. This this uh, segment where you have to jump across this little scaffold here. It can be really finicky to jump across if you're not too careful. I think there's a bulb one in here, but... No, I don't think... Oh, yeah, there he is. I see him. He's up on the roof. I forgot. There we go. He's dead. And the little old lady comes out of the building. The howls of the beast, they faded into silence. Yeah, I cleared it out for you. Wait, are you... The Savior! It's you, the Savior! Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. Well, I don't blame you. There's mo there was monsters there. My name is Impaz. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the Great One who built this village lo so long ago. This village was once a secret, secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? Ah, I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl? How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl, she worried about this old woman, even as I helped her escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives, no matter what terrible fate that is visited upon it. But, oh, but listen to me blather on, I have a favor to ask, would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart, but even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. You got Ilya's charm. Ilya left this charm with the woman who saved her. This is the key to getting Ilya's memory back. Set it to... Yeah, yeah, to give it to her. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe in all this time. So please, I ask you to return it to that girl. With that, we saved this poor woman in her village. Now, Impaz is an interesting character that we don't get to see very often, as much in the in the in the game. She is part of the Sheikah tribe. The Sheikah tribe was a royal like tribe that protected the royal family a uh, long time ago in the Hylian family. But it seems like this village was the last like remnants of the of the Sheikah tribe so we didn't have uh, they didn't have like too much left she's the last surviving Sheikah member but her name is a play on rewards of an, of a ca common ca recurring character from the Zelda series Impa her name is Impaz she's a play on words of Impa Impa is a Sheikah that is a recurring character in the series all right so we're now that we've done that let us return back to Kakariko village and give this charm to Ilya. We're not done yet with uh, the Hidden Village, by the way. <laughs> we aren't done yet. We're going to be coming back to it here shortly. But first we have to go and, you know, give this charm to Ilya. And have her return her memory back. Okay. So, I'm actually going to get the Hawkeye off. Combo off. There we go. I don't have many arrows left <laughs> after all of that. Alright, so we need to have Ilya's charm. Put on Y. Let's go inside. Alright, Ilya. Hopefully this will jog your memory. I... I knew you once. Yes. This feels so familiar. The scent of hay. 
long ago, when we were young, you and I... You were always there. You were always besides me. Now that's the first time I've ever noticed she had a tear rolling down her cheek. I never actually noticed that until I just watched this scene a little closely. Link. She remembered. All the kids are peering in the window. <laughs> this gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Link, take it. You got the horse call. Ilya made it just for Epona. Use it on Y, X, or R and use it while outside to play Epona's favorite song and call, it, call her to you. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, I gotta go save the world and stuff, you know? <laughs> Alright, so I'll get into that here in a second. Link, do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Well, actually, it was the messenger to the heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in the woman's village, they've guarded something to the heavenly messenger to, for generations so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. That's why the lady couldn't leave the, her village, you see. Say, Link, do you have any idea who this messenger of the heavens might be? Or even what this rod is? Uh, yeah, this rod that we've got is the Dominion Rod. So we have to go back to the Hidden Village in order to uh, talk to Impaz. Because I think we are the messenger she's looking for. Now, about this item I talked about. Um, the horse call? Um, actually, hold on just a second, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, what I was trying to say about this item, the horse call. If we pull it out and push the button, it automatically plays upon a song like any of the, the horse grass, and it brings Epona to us. It's a nifty little item. <laughs> I really like it. I just wish it wasn't this late in the game to get it. <laughs> It really is kind of pointless at this point in the game. Because we have warp power. We don't really use Epona that much. Like, I know it's kind of sad to say that. But it's true. We don't use Epona that much anymore. <laughs> and so at this point in the game, it's pointless to have her. Uh, especially pointless to have an item that calls her to you. If this was given to us, I don't know. Um, back at the second dungeon, when we got Epona, then I wouldn't have an issue with it. But this is literally really late game. Then we're about ready to go into our third to last dungeon in the game. And, yeah, they're giving us an item to call Pona whenever we want to. It's not really that useful. Like, yeah, I, I could be using a Pona right now, but I mean, it's whatever. Pona's, uh, you know, Pona's a nice novelty, but she's not really like that in much of a necessity in this game. It's just how it is. I have to be wolf form anyways when we come back in here. We gotta return back to the hidden village because now that we've cleared it out. We can play a mini game. There's actually a couple things we can actually do in wolf form. 
And you guys see all these kitty cats around here. Well, uh, we're gonna get into that here in a second. But kitty cats are important. Um, we gotta go find a cuckoo that's in the corner, in the back corner of this area. If I can actually get in there. Oh, look at all these cats. <laughs> there we go. Meow, meow. Uh, before, before we talk to this cucko to play this minigame, there's a Howling Stone right here. And this is our last Howling Stone in the game. So we're about ready to do our last Howling Stone. Middle, down. Middle, up, down. Up, middle, up. Okay, so this one we'll have to kind of listen to a couple times. Middle, down. Middle, up. Down, up, down, middle, up, middle. Okay. I kind of screwed that up. Hold on a second. Let's listen again. Do. Okay, let's listen again. Oops. Oops. Do it again. Yeah, screw that up. Let's listen again. Okay, let's do it again. I was getting close. Let's do it again. I for screwed. I keep screwing this one. This one's hard. There we go. Alright, so our last concerto, our duet with the Golden Wolf. So we're gonna have to play this song again. Alright, so let's do it again. Not screw it up. There we go. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Well, that is, this is our last hidden ability. And the golden wolf spawns right in front of Hyrule Castle. So we'll have to go back to Hyrule Castle in order to get uh, the golden wolf to go up there. That song that the wolf will howl... Hey, you guys can probably tell based on, you know, the fact that it's from this game. It's the main theme of this game. So they ended it on the main theme of Twilight Princess. So, <laughs> it's really easy. Alright, so let's talk to this cucko. He says, oh, welcome. This is a forgotten village. 30. No, more like 20. That's how many cats have been made it back here into the village. So perhaps you could... Just play with them? Yeah. Oh, thanks so much. They're all so lonely. Perhaps you could talk to every one of them? But if you leave the village, it will be like you never talked to any of them. Do you understand? Cats are forgetful. Oh, and let me give you a tip speaking to all of them. Start with one end. Got it? Alright, so the point of this minigame is we have to talk to every single cat in the 
and the entirety of the hidden village. There's 20 in total. So we have to go look, play hide and hide, find all the kitty cats in the video in the in the hidden village. <laughs> Kid plays that intro again like it would be did the first time. All right, so we're gonna start off from one end. All right, so he's talked to this as meow. What fun, meow! First one, meow. <laughs> All right, talk to you. Meow. What fun, meow. Second one, meow. <laughs> yeah, this is this mini game is really hard. By the way, I hate this one so much. Meow. What fun, meow. Third one, meow. <laughs> Because I have a hard time trying to find the last two or three of them. Alright, so let's talk to this one. Meow, what fun meow? Fourth one meow. Now right, let's get this guy here. Meow, what fun meow? Fifth one meow. Did I talked to you already. You already talked to me, meow. Okay. What about up here? I'm in this house. We're gonna go and take that cuckoo's advice and start with one end and work our way towards the other the other end. Meow, what fun meow? Sixth one meow. Meow meow, I'm in. <laughs> meow, what fun meow? Seventh one meow. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Trying to jump across there is gonna be hard to do. That's okay. We'll try again. I'll go ahead and try to get over there. Is there a kitty over here behind the building? Yeah, there's one. Meow! What fun meow? Eighth one meow. Huh. Dun, 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 dun. I know there's one right there, but I kind of want to go in a in a, a sequence here break the window because I'm trying to actually go up there let's talk to this one meow what fun meow ninth one meow oh I guess I can't climb that I have to turn back to human in order to get back up to climb up this this thing here because Link's like hitbox is so weird when he's a wolf all right so all right talk to this one I just knocked him right off I'm such a horrible person <laughs> meow what fun meow not tenth one meow so I found half of them already all right so uh, hold on, dude, there's one up there now here to get this one this one's a tricky one we have to use Claw Shot in order to reach this cat up here. This will be the 11th one. Meow, what fun meow? 11th one meow. There's not a cuck there's not a cat back there with a cucko. Alright, so there's a cat right here from the one that couldn't get before. Meow, what fun meow? 12th one meow. All right, so I think we got all the ones here and on this side on the what would this would be the, the left side of the entrance way. Uh, I haven't talked to you yet. Meow, what fun meow? 13th one meow. All right, so let's go on the right side. I think I went ahead and got Did I get you? I think I talked to you already. You already talked to me, meow. Okay. And I went and got the one behind the building. I think. We're already buddies, Meow Meow. <laughs> We're already buddies, Meow Meow. I, I like this mini game because it's so adorable because I'm talking to cats. And I like cats. But, you know, it's just, it's hard to remember everything that you've done. Alright, so let's go inside this side of the building here. Uh, forget how you get up here. I don't think you can. You have to go from the other building. I 
I think you had to go in the entrance way somewhere. Figure it out. Dun, 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 dun. Unless I go inside here and I have to claw shot my way out the other side. I don't remember how you get up to to the other side of the building. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, I knew there was a claw shot segment right here. It's just so hard to see it. You have to use claw shot right here. You can barely see it from here. Yeah, there, there's a claw shot right there. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to the cats on this side. Meow, meow, 14th one, meow. Okay, there's not one on this side. Let's see if there's a kitty over here. No, there's a cliff side. We don't want to do that. Oh, we don't want to fall down. Fuck you. I'm trying to remember how you can get up on the roof. I remember that. There's a way you can get up here. I can't remember. Oh, I have to jump across here. There we go. Talk to you. Meow, what fun meow? 16th one meow. I think that means that there's only four cats left. I think we got them all here. This kitty. Meow, what fun meow? 17th one meow. Did I talk to you? Yeah, what fun meow? We're already buddies, meow meow. Okay, never mind. Uh, this one right here in front of the lady's door. Yeah, what fun meow? 18th one meow. That means I'm missing two. Actually, there's missing one because there's one back here. Meow, what fun meow? 19th one meow. So there's one more cat around here. We're gonna have to find it. We're gonna have to backtrack. There you are! 20th one, meow. Wow, meow, everyone's getting along, meow. Go tell Cuckoo Leader. I've been looking for you for the past 11 minutes! Holy crap. He was right here. He blended in with the, the thing so well I couldn't see him. Poor cat. <laughs> he blended in with the ground so well. I said, man, I couldn't find him. I've been looking for this cat for 11 minutes. It's crazy. I was just like, okay, where is he? This is this is what the thing I was worried about with this minigame. This minigame is really hard whenever you got like one left and you can't find him. It's so stupid. You talked to all of them. Thanks. Now your prize is in front of the old lady's house. Make sure you pick it up before you leave. All right, well let's go and pick it up before we leave. <laughs> I have to go talk to uh, Impaz anyway, so it'll all work out in the end. All right, our prize for doing this cat mini game is a piece of heart. <laughs> so that's what you get for. Finding all 20 kitty cats. Oh my goodness gracious. I was worried about this minigame so bad. Because it's just like... I knew there was just going to be one left and I couldn't find him. Alright, let's talk to... Speaking with devil, there's more cat. You crazy cat lady. Oh look, it's 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 playing. Aww. Like our cats. Like our cats. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Impaz. Is that girl doing alright? I haven't much to offer, but please make yourself comfortable here. Let's show her the Dominion Rod. Hey, that rod. Is that the Dominion Rod? Ah, oh, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the leaders of my clan, there's a story from the time when the Uka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it is said a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. 
The rod is the only to be carried by the messenger of the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with Uka. For generations to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, the, by royal decree, was to be given to the messenger of the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. And we got the ancient sky book. A book written in an ancient sky language. A crucial word is of it is still missing some characters. It is, there is a hint for finding a path to the sky. Set it to Y, X, and R to check it. This book is hit, written in the ancient language of the sky writing. I am so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Meeting that girl must have been ordered by the gods, so it could be here today to pass on this knowledge. So now we have this ancient sky language, and we have to return this back to Shad, back in Kakariko Village, down down in the basement. Because he's looking for the language book, and we just got it. But, that is, uh, there's one more thing in in a hidden village before we go before we go and forget about this I did all this work here in hidden village and I don't want to forget this one if we hook shot up here turn into a wolf right around the corner there's a Poe so let's go ahead and grab this Poe before we leave I said grab this Poe before we leave rip his soul out so we got our next Poe soul and I think that's the last of, of the things in the Elden Province. So we got all the post souls in the Elden Province. We have all the post souls in the Lanayru Province and the Peak Province. And I think we're still missing some in the Garuda Province, yeah. And we're missing. Got all of them in the Faron Province. I think we got all, all of them mi uh, minus uh, a couple in the dungeons. That's about it. So. We're all good there, so we got all the Poes in the Elden Province. That's good. Alright, so, now we're done with Hidden Village. Now, before we end this episode, uh, there's one more thing that we want to do. We want to go and get our last, uh, hidden skill. We unlocked it with the Howling Stone. I might as well go ahead and get it in this episode. Because the next episode is going to be kind of a doozy. If this episode wasn't already a doozy already, but I'm cutting most of that out because it's really 11 minute search for a kitty cat. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go get our last hidden skill, which is uh, the golden wolf is right in front of the, uh, the Hyrule Castle barrier. The entrance to Ca Hyrule Castle. And this will give us our last hidden skill in the game. When we do this, we have learned all of the hero, the hero shades, uh, hidden skills. Alright, so we just need to go up north of the town central square. Beyond this gate, you guys see the giant barrier that's blocking Harrow Castle. There's the golden wolf. At last, the time is now. This is the seventh and final hidden skill that I can pass on to you. This forgotten skill is the ultimate sword te secret technique, and it tests the true courage of the one who wields it. Do you wish to master this final hidden skill, which can be earned only by one true hero? I do. Very well. Then before we begin, I will test to make sure you mastered the last skill I taught you. The jump strike. Now, come at me. Come at me, bro. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and uh, charge up our jump strike. There we go. Excellent. It appears you're certainly capable of performing the Lost Art. Very well. The, my final hidden skill is... The Great Spin. Let it be honed into your mind.
You have at your disposal the basic sword technique, known as the spin attack. You have mastered numerous hidden skills and now house the spirit of the true hero. You now have in your ability to magnify the power of your spin attack. But the only time you can draw out that power is when your life energy is brimming full. So whenever your health is at full, you can use this technique. Now, try unleashing the spinning this spin attack at me. Alright, so whenever your health is full... Hold that spin attack. Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is brimming full. Remember this. The final hidden skill, the Great Spin, has been passed on. We've learned the final hidden skill, the Great Spin. With full life energy, unleash a spin attack to, for even more damage. You have at last mastered all the hidden skills. Although I accepted life as a hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. At last, I have eased my regrets. You, who have marched through countless foes, each mightier than the last, you, who now gaze into the future with vision unclouded, surely you can restore Hyrule to its stature and your, of your, as the chosen land of the gods. Farewell. Go, and do not falter, my child. And with that, we have got every single hidden skill in the game. So we're complete in that, in that regard. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for that I wanted to do for this episode. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to go and talk to Shad back in Kakariko Village. But I'm going to save that for next episode because that's going to be an entirety of an episode of itself. We're, our next objective is we have to f find this hidden... We have to finish out this book that we, we are given from Impasse. The book's, book is incomplete. And we have to kind of finish it out in a way. So we're going to go and save that for the next episode. So the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to go fill out the Skybook. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode.